So here's the thing. I am going to show you how you can make your ordinary looking screenshots and images and turn them into 3D and make them look dynamic in your videos. Let me just show you how you can do that. So here are two websites that you can use. First one is the fontmeme.com slash 3D dash rotation and the second website that you can use is 3D transformer.com. Both serve the same purpose but are a little bit different. And over on the first one, we'll have to upload our image. Let's just do that. So this is the image that I'm going to upload. And below this we have the rotation option. So this one is the first preset. It would look like this. Second one would look like this. Third one like this. So let's go with the preset one and click on generate. And if you see over here, it has generated a 3D looking image for us. We'll just have to save it. And since it's saved, we'll just bring it to Wondershare Filmora. Bring it to the import tab. And since it is imported, just bring it right over here. And after selecting the appropriate length, you have to go to the crop tab. Come over here and click on the 16 to 19 ratio, which is the YouTube aspect ratio. You can configure it as you like. Click on OK. And this is the sort of image that we have. So in this image, I would like to focus on the followers while the camera moves from one angle to the other. So I'll go to the crop tab again. Then I'll click on pan and zoom. So I'll have to select a starting point. So this one would be my starting point in which we'll be showing the account on the Twitter and in the end tab, I'm going to bring it to the number of followers. So before showing you the result, let me just show you the original picture that we had. So this is the original picture. It was a simple looking picture, but we 3D rotated it. And this is how it looks after applying this whole scheme and these all effects. So you can see that we just turned a simple image into a 3D one and just made a pan and zoom effect in Wondershare Filmora, which made it look like a 3D effect. Now I'm going to be using this effect more often and you can also play around a little bit more. So all in all, this is quite interesting and if you haven't used this before, try it out for next videos. And if you found this video to be helpful, do watch the other videos that I have on my channel and also give this video a like.